Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Muv Love. If you missed the last episode, you can click on the eye on the top of the video to watch a previous episode to get caught up. What? The day of the tournament. What? What did I do? What happened? You expect me to stay calm after hearing that? What happened? Oh no. Wait, is Ayamine not here? Why isn't Ayamine here? Why? Oh, what happened? I don't know where she is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't go acting like it's not your problem. What are we gonna do about the match? Do you not care? Ah, hey. Oh, hmm. What if we secretly dress like Ayamine? Maybe then we can play. Uh, probably. Yeah. Allow that practice. I don't know what you want me to do. Oh. Um. You. I. How. How come this is a choice? I thought we were actually gonna do something. Do nothing. Come. We're gonna come up with a backup plan. We can't just give up, guys. There's no other choice. We just have to find a replacement. I don't know. Okay, you asked what I was gonna do. <laughs> just leave it to me. Wait, are we actually gonna dress like a girl? Hmm. Are we? Here she is, everyone. Oh, okay, so, so, so instead of us dressing up like a girl, we're gonna make Makoto dress up like a girl so that he can join the team. Our new transfer student, Eroyo Tokomi-san. Yeah, we didn't change anything about the face. Anything at all. No one will know that it's Makoto. No, not even Sensei. Hmm. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if this is gonna work anymore. Well. No one will know, right? Sensei won't know, right? Maybe. I don't know. Her name is Takomi-san. I have no idea. But it'll do. Huh. Does he? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Wait, this isn't Makoto at all. It's Iroyo Tokomi-san. Huh? <laughs> Is Simuka really getting confused about this? Uh, you need to... Just... What do we need him to do? Play lacrosse, of course. <laughs> oh man, like just look at their faces. Except for me, I mean, it's like, eh. Honky? Yes, this is the replacement. Of course I am. You didn't think about that when we asked you? You just transferred here today. You have no such plans. <laughs> Yes. Oh, you catch on quick. The general consensus is that he's off somewhere in New Guinea. 
Yeah. 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 Of course I am. Someone go get class rep. Oh, let's see how this goes. To no one's surprise, Class D's won all their games so far, so they'll be in the final match. They'll be facing off against us, all according to plan. From what I saw of their previous matches, Suzumiya's team is pretty balanced. It doesn't really seem like their lack of experienced players is going to be a handicap. So, even I'm surprised that Class Rep let me sneak Makoto in. She was willing to break her beloved rules. The dignity of her team rests entirely on how this plays out. She'll do whatever it takes to win. I definitely wasn't expecting that, but hey, don't like don't look a gift horse in the mouth. What? Yuko Sensei managed to keep the administrators quiet. Oh, Yuko Sensei knows. Okay. She said she'd hate to win by default. Thank goodness she likes having fun and defying authority. Though it also means she's quite confident in her team's ability. Ooh. However, what happened to Ayamine? Makoto. I mean, Takomi. Yes. <laughs> Has been doing way better than I expected, but she doesn't really know the rules. At the moment, she's gained by entirely on the strength of her superhuman powers. She can tell she's strong enough to swim her way home from the South Pacific, but this is a team sport. So far, she's been confusing the opposing teams to the point that they've done themselves in. Confusing them how? It's a miracle we've won all our games so far. Of course, Yugo Sensei's Class D won't go down so easily. We won't stand a chance in the finals at this rate. Uh-oh. Are you really gonna abandon us, Ayamine? The final match is starting in 30 minutes. Uh, where'd you go? Why are we staring at her crotch? Okay, why are we staying at a crotch, Takeru? Takeru! Yeah, I am. Ayamine hasn't showed up. And we don't recognize her voice, apparently, somehow. Yeah, Ayamine, it does suck that Ayamine isn't here. Yeah, wow. Okay, well, I, I pretty much just said that. Uh. Alright, bye, Ayamine. Whoa, 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 hold it right there. Yeah. Oh. Oh, well. Bye. Hmm. Ikune. What happened? Hey, I said, hold on. Jeez, do you have any idea how late you are? Um. The Sports Festival. Sit down, let me scold you. Oh no, you're not getting off that easily, and that was a pretty half-assed apology, if you ask me. It is a sports festival. You don't know? Where have you been this whole time? That doesn't... That, that, that's not helpful at all, I mean, What are you... What? You are so dead. I just told you to sound like you mean it. Tell me the truth. What have you been doing? You're not just late for no reason, right? So. Oh. Forget it. This is exhausting. Hmm. Ah. Oh, anyway, thank goodness you're here in time for the match. Are you? Come on, let's go find the rest of the team. Um. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. She better not have come all the way here just to say... Great. You're playing. Why does it surprise you? There's no time for jokes. I mean, what are you playing here? Yes, we do. Oh, come on. Hmm. So that was what I was thinking about. If we chose to do nothing part, right? Ayamine would definitely come play and help? Hmm. I don't think it would be that easy. We're up against Yugo Sensei's class after all. Hmm. Make it sound like it's not your problem. Could it be 
that this is just you being stressed out in your own way? Hmm. But how you never get along with class rep? You'd better not be thinking that it'll all turn out okay just so long as you aren't there. Hmm. Uh, well, we aren't done. Don't go yet. Ah, you're so frustrated right now. Well, yeah, I can be pretty perceptive, you know. No, you're not leaving. Wait, one last question. If you aren't gonna play, why are you even here? Oh, good question. Hmm. Because you were thinking of playing. You're here because you really are planning on playing, aren't you? Don't give me that smug look. Not even a flinch. Come on, which is it? She's almost as stubborn as the human calculator. Who? Yes, obviously. It, is she doing this whole facade thing because she wants to feel wanted? Why didn't you just say so in the first place? Also, what's with the sudden change of heart? She's completely playing me. Yes, she is, Takeru. I don't get her at all. She's just as much of an anomaly as Makoto. Alright. Why are you ending the conversation? <laughs> oh, she's mad. Stop it! I mean, as reasons. I, I don't know. Hmm. Hey, class rep. いつもクラスの行事は無視するし、今回だって最初からこうするつもりだったんでしょ。そうやってバカにして、クラスやチームのみんなを裏切って、さぞいい気分でしょうね。Class rep, stop it already. Stop berating her. Get her, get her, come here. わかってるわよ。私が、私が悪いのよ。Hey, come on, no one's saying... Who? Who? Who's that? Who, who's that? Her name's Royo Tokomi-san. I'm telling you, Makoto was never here to begin with. Listen. I mean, it was just thinking about the good of the team. She thought things would go better if she wasn't here. Yes. Um, uh, uh, so what is I mean a keeping from us? Huh. No way. We can't beat Class D with Makoto. Besides, weren't you adam adamantly opposed to letting him play when I first suggested it? Huh? What? What's going on? Class rep. Um, that's true. Then why did you let Mikoto play? That—that's the real reason. But you couldn't with with Ayamine. Class rep. That's how she really feels. That's why class rep herself was willing to bend the rules. What the hell? Your means are different, but we all want the same end. We're all in that exact same boat as you, you know. 
And yet now, when we're actually pretty close to maybe accomplishing something... Hmm... Ah! Why is this so irritating? You couldn't be more frustrated right now. Chizuru-chan! Hmm... Ah, uh, enough already! Wait right there. As your manager, I cannot accept this. <laughs> Last rep, you're seeing that whether we win or lose isn't the main issue here, correct? So yo. And you think the real issue is getting everyone to come together, right? So, so yo. Then let me ask you this. Are you saying that anyone who thinks differently can be cast aside? Are your precious ideas really that biased? Hmm... <laughs> Then prove it. Play with Ayamine. Hmm. Hmm. It's gonna happen. Last rep. If you really do want everyone to come together, then stop making Ayamine feel like an outcast. Well, it's not. This isn't showing me that you're trying to. Well, let me tell you something. As your manager, you haven't made any progress with her. So I have a hard time believing that you've been trying. Yeah, you heard me. You've been putting all that effort into the wrong stuff. You always just try to do everything yourself. <gasps> and you've hit the limit of what you can do alone. Why do you think I went looking for Ayamine? What else could I have done? Not only that, you even told me to go get Makoto earlier. Do the rules even no mean nothing to you once they get in your way? Hmm... Oh, we, we, we hit a soft spot here. You're contradicting your, your usual self, or what? Are you going to say that making this happen was more important than the rules? Or are you just going to blame it all on Yuko-sensei for allowing it? So, so what the hell then? Can you really say that you're completely in the right here? Hmm... Making yourself sound like you're... Admit that Ayamine had her reasons, even if they don't make sense to you. Is, is your pride really that important to keep? Oh, and by the way, I didn't drag Ayamine here by force. Why aren't you happy about this? She's here now, so everyone can play together like you wanted. Well, I mean, the truth hurts, but, you know, sooner or later, she's going to hear that from someone else, because can't let that ride forever. Oh, come on, Maya, get a clue, will you? <sighs> I'm seeing that class rep's claiming to act in everyone's best interest, when it's really just her personal hatred of Ayamine talking. You really need to come right out and say it. Don't push the issue here. We're not all as strong as you. Yes, I mean, apparently it's making Takeru super duper frustrated, and that's why he's just releasing all this anger, this pent up anger. Pipe down, you only speak up when it's easy for you anyway. Have you ever honestly tried, tried to defend class rep? <gasps> However, you may feel about Ayamine as a person, you just can't work with her. Everyone knows that. <laughs> so, you weren't like this at the beginning of the year, you were so naggy back then. But you talked to Ayamine the same as you did with everyone else, didn't you? And Ayamine, you didn't seem too bothered by her back then. Maybe you finally got fed up with all of her complaining. But did you ever try to talk with her about it? That's a big fat no, it seems. You ignore class reps or she just keeps talking. Then you get even more annoyed. Don't you think there's something wrong with that? You're just running away from the problem. Yeah, you can't run away from the problem. You can't, you gotta face it. Everyone has their own way of looking at the world. At the very least, class rubs up front about hers, and she tries to live by it. What about you, Tama? <laughs> Don't you remember what Yugo Sensei said? If you're too scared to get in an argument with someone, you're never really going to trust or understand each other. Hmm. When you don't like what someone's saying or doing, just say so. No one will ever know how you feel if you keep quiet. That, 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 
That's true. That's super duper true. Listen to these words from Takeru. No one's gonna know what you're saying. No one can mind read you. <gasps> and seriously, Ayamine, what if some, something important to you was going to be destroyed for no apparent reason? <laughs> Look, I get that lacrosse might not mean much to you, but it's extremely important to class rep. Her entire club could get disbanded if we don't win this match, and she's saying she wouldn't mind losing. This is a class rep we're talking about. I guess some people would think you're a cool, mysterious character. But if you can't even understand how she feels about this, then you're just an idiot. <laughs> but honestly, class rep, you charge in headfirst and try to do everything by yourself. And then when you blow it, it's all I mean it's fault. Please. You're seriously gonna pull the as long as everyone works together, it doesn't matter if we win or lose card. Dappy crap like that only works when you actually understand each other's feelings. Don't you get that? God, I feel sorry for the people who lost to you. That that might have been a little bit too far. Although, now that I put you all in a bad mood, I guess nobody gives a shit about doing their best. Wait, did, did, did he just swear? Huh. Ah, oh, crap. Crap, crap's not swear, right? No. No. Now that I've finally calmed down. Oh man, I really screwed the pooch this time. I went overboard. That was pretty freaking lame, man. I just shoved my dumb opinions down their throats. Now everyone's going to think I'm just a hot-headed jerk. Yes, everyone will just think you're a hot-headed jerk after this one little incident. Not now the years they've been with you, you know, in class. No, no, no. No, they might just start avoiding me. Uh, who do I even think I am saying stuff like that? The truth. I've done nothing but cause problems for class rep. I didn't want them to think I was hot-blooded or lacked self-control. So I didn't say any of this out loud until now. I'm just as bad as everybody else. Not really, you don't avoid the problems. And now that I have said it, they're just gonna get worse. Hmm, <sighs> no one's saying a word. There's no way. Anybody feels up to coming together and doing their best now. Sorry. I'll go ask if we can resign from the game. I feel sorry for our other classmates, but there's not really another option. Ah. Uh... Rimochan's gonna be really famous after this. And it's all our fault that she's gonna get super duper famous. Mate, Takeru. Huh? What? Hmm? Hooray! Hooray! See what I mean? That that sent that paragraph apparently was longer than the other paragraph that was longer than this paragraph, and then she she just said like one sentence. Aya? So, da ne. Takeru chan ni konna fu ni okorare ru to wa omotte nakatta na. Ah yes, I mean, I am the big jerk off after all. Wata, wata. Oh, she just turned super duper red. Look at her face. It's just. Pink. Tama. Okay. Hooray! Hooray!みつるぎさんだけには任してられないね。何しろ、みつるぎさんは転校生なんだから。私たちが何倍もしっかりしないと。yeah, but... Yeah... Hooray! That's great, Tama. What? Huh? Hmm... So that, so that, that's her way of saying that she's gonna do her best. Ayamine. Whoa, hold up. For real? 
I'm amazing. I'm the king of the world. I totally forgot about Kashiwagi for a second because um, we never said anything about her. She she just stood in the back and was like, yeah, I'd, I, I haven't done anything wrong. I guess I'll just stand here while you braid everybody else. Last rep. Everyone says they'll play. <gasps> Yay! Aww. Let's do this. Oh. Huh? What's that mean? Alright. Okay, everyone out of up. Ooh. Now I'm gonna end the episode here, everybody. We just had this nice long talk. Ooh, we got everyone together, we got everyone ready. And we're gonna see how this is gonna end up in the next episode of Mud Love. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye! Hugging her boobs up like that to, to make it more, uh, more there.